We're back, people, and today we're bringing on film on Duke Riley and David Long, and I actually think they made a very big impact in this game, in the passing game. You know, since Riley's come to the lineup, he's been pretty solid in coverage, and throughout the year, Long has been pretty below average in coverage, specifically. Obviously, versus the run, he's one of the best linebackers in the NFL, but in this game, I thought they did a great job in a couple of different ways, whether it was matching the tight end and the running backs underneath to take away those quick dump-off options, forcing Dak to hold onto the ball and try to escape the pocket. And then um, they also did a good job gaining depth and taking away some deeper crossers down the down the middle, especially after that, like after the Lamb touchdown, they were doing a very good job at that. And that was a big difference maker in this game for me because they haven't had that really all year long from the linebackers, at least two of them at the same time. Maybe one of them was having a good game in coverage, but getting them both to do that in this Fangio scheme, I think can make a huge difference. Um, once they get Holland back and if the linebackers continue to play at that level, I actually feel very, like, I think the passing uh, unit on defense to stop the pass could be even better if they're playing to this level. Like, Long was covering up Jake Ferguson pretty well, whether he was matched up in man or just, like, a zone match thing. Uh, Riley was taking away the running back underneath. Dak thinks he's going to have an option. He just, you know, decides to escape the pocket. This play ends up being a holding, uh, I believe, right here when Sealer's trying to get away. They call holding right there, and, uh... So, well, yeah, good job. And then once they give that up, Riley's over there to help make that tackle out in space. Another area I think they did a good job is underneath. They just, like, held these receivers, these tight ends, these running backs with, like, they leverage these routes. Like, look at Long here. He leverages his routes long enough, is able to squeeze this, and then now as it's crossing his face, going to the safety, he's able to come off of it, and then uh, Riley cover the running back underneath. The safety is able to drive and take that away. They were just passing things off, squeezing onto these route concepts, understanding their space a little bit better than usual, um, not just covering ground. And then Dak forced to hold on to the ball. None of these options are here. Riley is able to come down, get on the running back when he wants to dump it off. That option is taken away. And then you get the sack on Dak Prescott from Andrew Van Ginkle. Good to see Riley blitzing on this play, which forces Dak to get rid of the ball very quickly. And then you get David Long squeezing and replacing this. So... Long is middle of the field, Riley sneaking up, gets that free blitz, and now Long is just going to roll late and match the number three, which ends up being Ferguson. He has to throw this ball, and he's able to break on it, just, you know, those quick out routes. You know, they're just running stick to that side of the field, and Long is able to get out there, and he made it difficult. Like, Long was actually in good coverage on Ferguson throughout the game, when Ferguson's a pretty good tight end, so that is a good sign. If Long starts playing like that in coverage, this unit, I think, even takes another step up, and they've already been absolutely amazing. Another time in coverage, David Long gets the target here. They're running their stunts up front. He just matches, stays with Ferguson the entire time. The uh, Dolphins ran a lot of cover six in this game. And when they're running like six like this, people are thinking they're running like true zone. But no, they're running like zone match. This guy works in your zone. You play top down and you match it. Now you're guarding him wherever he goes. These guys might be playing quarters to this side, you know, cover two over there. But now he's just matching the tight end. Riley's ready to match the running back out of the backfield, but he's staying back there to block. So he basically ends up just like spying this whole situation. And then he has to throw it away to Ferguson because they're getting pressure up front. Them squeezing these routes like and long is talking trash to uh, has just been a huge thing, I think, for this defense. That has very much helped out uh, their, their cause as of late. And he's stuck with Ferguson like it was nothing he was very patient in this game very under control and then Riley was pretty much taking away their running back option the whole game here's a third and 16 Dolphins are out in dime this time so only Riley is on the field in this situation this was after the big pass to uh Tolbert and they hold the Cowboys to a field goal they get their pressure up front Riley's matching the running back he's able to complete it underneath this time like one of the only times where they really got the dump off option on Riley but he ended up uh, making the tackle and limiting this to a fourth down and only getting, you know, a, a handful of yards. But yeah, just good stuff. He was always relating to these running backs. And he wouldn't just go straight downhill right away and just try to guard this running back. He would still sit in the middle of the field, sit in that hook, take away anything of it needed. Now he's seeing this guy start to leak out of the backfield, get down and guard him, take away that option so he doesn't have a bunch of space to work with. And he makes the nice play. Good job from Riley. I feel like he's been very, very important and you can see the leadership on hard knocks that he's brought in too uh he's been a, a great uh great surprise i think since baker's gone down this is one of the like only target or two where ferguson had the catch on long but it was still really good coverage like long like was pretty much matched up here man to man on him he stays where he sees the break to the outside he's matching it very well with his footwork ready to break on that and it had to be like a perfect throw and perfect catch for this to even be completed we also got right like they're on an empty so when you're on an empty like this linebackers end up getting isolated on receivers and tight ends a lot riley's here at the bottom basically on gallop he's getting hands on to reroute while keeping his eyes on Dak. i like seeing this 
very comfortable, but squeezing those routes, everything, pretty good coverage across the board. You got to have a perfect throw and perfect catch to even complete it. One of the examples where they actually take away like a deeper cross, it ends up kind of hurting them because they take their eyes off the QB and Dak ends up scrambling. So basically, um, and it's not their fault completely. Usually this is more on the defensive line. They got to contain their pass rush lanes a little bit better. But as you can see here, they run the play action. They do get sucked down a little bit here. They take some false steps, but look how they initially recover. Riley gets out to gain depth to find this initial crosser. It's going into Kohu. He wants to take away this throwing lane. And then now Kohu can pass this off. Long, like, he's now then trying to go to CD Lamb behind it. Now, if you look at the place earlier in the game, Lamb was running wide open. And now the reason Dak doesn't pull the trigger is because Long gets up out of there so fast to take away that throwing lane. Unfortunately, he's able to escape the pocket because they take their eyes off of him. He's able to gain, like, 22 yards. I mean, that's a little bit on the linebackers, but mostly on the defensive line. But it's still nice to see them at least adjusting in coverage. Uh, there's some good stuff to still take away from plays like that. I think the Cowboys just made it pretty easy on the Dolphins linebackers that time, just with, like, the routes. Like, they're just chipping and going to the flat. And usually versus zone, this stuff might get opened up. But with Dolphins running, you know, more zone match stuff, they see this. They're just going to stay at, over the top of it. Riley's got it on the running back. There's no just check down option to go to for the quarterback so he's basically forced to throw it away once he's getting sacked uh yeah but yeah just being in the right position a lot throughout this game from the linebacker not just sitting in your zone and covering grass actually going and finding people once these plays develop this is actually a very very impressive play from the linebackers here from pretty much everyone the cowboys actually literally run the the most this is like the play the dolphins ran for the most touchdown the only difference is they didn't like start motioning him across and peeling him back but it's the exact same route concept they just start the running back over here but the dolphins defend it perfectly they're running everyone with mesh the running back would be the first option and then ferguson sneaking behind it but long is able to get over the top of this mesh match it riley's able to get over to the, the running back take away those two options and now dak is forced to escape the pocket and throw this underneath and the safeties are able to get there and climb on it that's beautiful work from the linebackers underneath focusing on long and riley again really liked what i saw from them as the linebackers in this game just matching stuff underneath not making things like the cowboys kind of made like this is pretty easy stuff for the linebackers they're just not hurting themselves staying patient discipline they're just trying to run the sit route versus you think zone so you can find the soft spot but they're matching it he's getting out to the flat and the running back taking that away and now he's forced to throw out basically the fade to CeeDee Lamb, which uh, ends up being incomplete. But this is just good stuff. And now the final play that we're going to look at, this is the Brandon Cooks touchdown. But they end up doing a good job as well, finding the mesh point. Look, look at the crossers here. Uh, Riley finds Ferguson working from the three receiver side. Then they have, uh, I think that's the running back who is lined up as a receiver on the outside there. And they're trying to, you know. Uh, work the mesh again and they pass it off just beautifully in the right position but they end up getting the corner route to cooks unfortunately on that specific situation but the linebackers just played smart disciplined football specifically against the pass the running game was never really an issue i feel good like about the whole dolphins run defense not even really too focused on that in these film breakdowns because it's just been so good for so many weeks now but it's nice to see uh how riley has looked in his few games starting out and how david long is progressing in coverage because Long has been so good versus the run. If he actually starts playing pretty decent in coverage, wow, like they don't have to go in nickel as much and they can feel a lot more comfortable on early downs now with, against passing game. And that's very, very huge, especially versus teams like the Cowboys who love to line up their best players in the slots and go to work over the middle of the field. So if you guys are there, you know, like, come subscribe. Let's get next time. Peace.